wearing NSF paint and pencil and crayon splattered jeans, which I chose because I always, growing up, wanted to be an artist and I spent all of my free time painting and drawing and most of my clothes legitimately looked like this. I thought it was the height of cool to look like I'd just come from the studio. It was my mother's nightmare. Well, there's a lot going on with this jacket. I mean, it's sort of canvassy, so it kind of it could be could be likened to a smock. <laughs> That's not too heavy-handed. Um, I'm quite tall, I'm six feet tall. So yeah, I got really used to, at a young age, wearing jeans that were too short for me out of necessity. I'm now wearing a high heel, and I think it just, you know, if my jeans are gonna be too short, my legs are gonna be too long, why not just be, uh, have them be longer, I guess. When I looked at these jeans, I was thinking about the end of the McQueen show from 99, where Shalom Harlow comes out and she's standing in this white dress, and then all of a sudden, there are these very machinist-looking paint guns that come out and they splatter her with paint, and it's a really sort of dramatic, theatrical moment. I love the idea of art coming and covering up the white canvas of fashion.